next to him Jan Werner from Czechoslovakia. Jersey Rembas, the Polish wonder boy, hasn't had much of a season at Leicester in the British League, but always a danger. And Dave Jessup on the outside. Heat number three. Jessup, of course, a former Wembley rider, knows his way around this Empire Stadium track. We need to get away quickly here because the last is inside. Appalling luck. So we've got a new leader, and it's Jerzy Rembas from Poland. Rembas stepping in, taking advantage. He won't look uh, a good force like that in the face. Rembas leads it. Second place now is Jan Werner. Third is Anderson. But Rembas is going to win it. Second place there was Werner. Third place was Anderson. But everybody here at Wembley will want to commiserate with Dave Jessup. From England, well in front, but the bike gave up the ghost, and that really is a terrible stroke of luck for him. There he is there, just walking back to the pits. What awfully bad luck for Dave Jessup. It's Peter on the stick. There's Gordon Kennett, puts himself around. There's Simmons, stylish. We have got on the stick from Czechoslovakia and on the outside it's Jerzy Rembas and Rembas in fact won his first race courtesy of some bad luck for Dave Jessup. So when Jessup backed up Rembas stepped in to win. So it's uh, England versus Eastern Europe. On the inside Kenneth, next to him Simmons, then on the second. On the outside Jersey Rembas. And it's uh, Rembas again from the outside who gets up to the corner. Kenneth on the inside and Kenneth gets edges him over there. Simmons now coming hard down the inside line, inside Jersey Rembas, but Gordon Kennett leads it in heat number five. Simmons is now in second place, chasing hard, and the Eastern Europeans just slightly out of contention here. This is Gordon Kennett in his first world final, 25 today is his birthday, and Simmons is under some pressure in second place from Rembas, but uh, Kennett, a hard door rider, gives nothing away, a brilliant inside rider, can find drive on the line in the most magnificent way. This is watching round his pit corner. He's strong, he's burly, he's tough, and he's leading heat number five, Simmons, Mark Simmons, the England captain, has not looked that convincing. Second place, first by May, just really holding on to second place from Remba. But Gordon Kennett, second place in his first right, he's going to get three points here, and that means he's still in touch with that title. A win for Kennett, three points to him, so that's five so far, and that's impressive. Second place, Markham Simmons, only two points there. His title chance really must be slipping away. And Rembas, who flourished just uh, early on there around the first corner, Rembas there in yellow and black, just picks up one point. his fellow countryman Jersey Rembas. Anders Michinek with a win in the third place in grid three and Ivan Major with a win and a fall to, uh, on his score chart in his first two rides. So both Major and Michinek will feel that uh, the world title in 1978 is still just about within their grasp. And there's Marek Cheeslack obviously trying to find some extra drive away from the tapes. Eastern Europeans traditionally find Empire Stadium a bit tricky. So uh, really, in heat number 11, we feel we ought to watch for the two ex-champions, the reigning champion, uh, Major, of course, having won the title five times. Michinek won it in 1974 by a long way, four clear points. Really, I think most of the action will come from these two grids in heat 11. Let's see the start. Superb 
start from grid four. Healy did pitch and didn't make a start. Tony's Rembach coming hard under Major down the back straight, and he's pushed him out. Rembach has taken the world champion well wide, and this again is a surprise. Major made a tremendous start. We didn't record on this boy at all. Oh, Rembach has got it all going for him. Held on there somehow. And uh, Major trying hard to get back in with a chance. Michinek, you can see it in the back there. So that will be his chance as well if it stays this way. And surely, if Ivan Major is unable to get up, he could kiss goodbye to his title in 1978. Well, we've had a few surprises here at Wembley. And here's another one. Rembrandt's absolutely carving up heat 11. He's got four points, and these three points, if he stays in front of the last lap, will put him on seven. And he might still get in the fray. And nobody in the world would have prophesied or predicted that. Rembrandt wins, he's 11, Major is back in second place, Michinek is nowhere, and we wonder where the surprises are going to end. that world title is within his grasp heat number 16 again so very crucial and the start and first corner indeed should be pretty torrid as well let's watch heat 16 it's a very even break and it's lee and it's olsen from the outside olsen leaves it made a super start leaves in second place rembass is back in third but olsen really made one of the Jets of Bell starts of his life there and he needed to and he knew it and now he's going away in 8.16 Only Olsen his 8th world final a very very popular character in the Midlands Denmark's first motorsport world champion Lee is trying hard to get back on terms Rembrandt's well, the bubble has burst a bit he's back in third place as you can see a good way back too but Olsen stretching away, we've lost the rider in white either Corona, he's gone down on that first one, it doesn't look badly hurt, he's out of harm's way there, surely the referee won't stop it because uh, Lee is making a pretty desperate challenge on Olsen, here's Olsen, he's aware that Lee is there, they're going past the spot where Corona fell, there he is, but Olsen really is in command, and this is a very important win for him at this phase, this, when these three points will put him into the lead with one race left, and that could be so very important, Oh yes, he pulled out the big one, the win, when he really wanted it. And that one could have a very, very far-reaching effect on the destination of the world title. Ole Olsen looking back at his very best. And he's... His opposition jersey Rembass, well he has been a dark horse, he's on the inside, Jerry Stansel in grid 3, John Tipman on the outside, heat 18, a vital one for Scott Autry. And he has not made the best of starts, Rembass has got to the corner first and given him a nudge, Rembass leads it down, there goes Jerry Stansel, but uh, again, he's not really causing any trouble to the other three, it's Rembass out in front, Autry in the race he had to win to be uh, really a short of a place in the frame is lagging behind and not really gaining too much ground on Rembass. Jersey Rembass, well, three points here will bring him up onto 11 and he could uh, still creep into the frame, but that really would be a major surprise. Watch him though begin to fight and close that gap up front. And he's only about a fight length back behind uh, Rembass now, as you can see. Rembrandt incidentally riding a machine borrowed from his fellow countryman at Wimbledon, Edward Gankart, so it has looked a very potent unit. Oh dear, Rembrandt again. He almost uh, fell in that identical spot a couple of races, but his control there really was very quick. And uh, there it is, Rembrandt wins it. Autry will be kicking himself, and uh, before long, the slide rules and computers are going to have to come out. Rembrandt finished on the finishes on 11 points so he still might get into the runoff for the places and Autry now finishes on 11 points too so he's getting very tight for these placings.